You know, it happened organically. Yuri wasn't playing with us, and then one day he just kind of hit up Mike and was like, hey, you're playing local, can I come play with you? And Mike and I were like, yeah, of course you can. What? It's your band. That's right. Like, I was Did you ask to get on the guest list? <laughs> Slowly, we started playing shows together again. The shows just got better and better. First, it was locally, then it was a quick flight here, a quick flight there, and the show started selling out. And we did some festivals, we did some international shows. Everybody's having a great time. Yeah, at some point, we looked around at each other and we're kind of like, this is really fun. So the next logical step, hey guys, I wrote some songs. Wow, this is this is real. We should do a record, like, like the old days, basically. And so we shared this process and we're asking for your help. We wanted to work together again. We wanted to make something we were proud of. We all got in a room together and we started working out the kinks in these songs. And not since before Secret Weapon had we done it this way. These days we do things our way. We don't have a label. We don't have anybody telling us what to do. So just like the songs, we work out the kinks of these ideas. Our entire business runs that way. Tom and Yuri are my friends. They're my family. And that's the way I want it to be. So we're not signing with a label, we're not changing anything about our business, we want to do this our way. MXPX was in practice the other night working on new songs, and I took a step back and I looked at these guys and I thought to myself, we're MXPX and it's fun again, that's, that's the bottom line. I've always loved that 